are Finnish people European and are they white? In America, Finnish people were not considered as white until the 20th century due to various biases. In fact, the founding fathers did not extend their definition of what it is to be white further than the inhabitants of the British Isles. In the 20th century, a horrible tragedy occurred in Europe. As the result of that tragedy, Europeans learned to be more inclusive and tolerant of people differing from them. Now, not a single sensible European will have any objection to the fact that Finnish people are white and European. However, on racist internet forums and phenotype subreddits, a certain group of people large enough to form a community still clings on to Nazi sentiments about the quote-unquote Mongolness of the Finnish people. The main argument in favor of this sentiment is that modern Finnish people have from 3 to 8% admixture from Bronze Age Siberians who were majority East Eurasian in ancestry and entirely East Eurasian in appearance and that modern Finnish people speak a language that ultimately comes from Siberia, which is in Asia. These folks will point to the phenotype of Finnish people to prove their Asian-ness, their high cheekbones, slightly flattened nose bridges and wide faces. Whether or not these traits are even uniquely Asian to begin with is dubious. Let's begin to debunk this bizarre argument. The derived allele in EDAR's V370A corresponding with East Asian facial traits has a frequency of only 6% among Finnish people according to Alfred. For comparison, it occurs at a frequency of 2 to 4% among African Americans, once again according to Alfred. You wouldn't say African Americans look particularly East Asian, so why do you say that about the Finns? The European race is colloquially known as the white race for a reason. Let's look at allele frequencies in some important genes for the coloring of eyes and hair. The derived allele in herc 2s blue eye haplotype 1 is found at a frequency of 95-98% to 98% in Finnish people in comparison to the 83-90% to 90% in my own ethnicity, Russians, and 88% number for British people. For non-Europeans, the derived allele frequency varies from 0 in bond to Africans to 14 in Japanese to 72 in unmixed Caritiana Native Americans. By the metric of eye and hair color, it is the British people who are intermediate between the Finns and non-Europeans and not the other way around. In this regard, the Finnish people are not only European, but they are more European than any other European is. This is a pattern you will observe with the other blue eye haplotypes in HERC2 and OCA2 region, not only BH1. What about all the other important qualities? One heritable quality that sets Europeans apart from non-European ethnicities is our ability to digest lactose, identified by a cytosine to thymine protein change in MCM6-13910 polymorphism. The derived allele, which corresponds to the enhanced ability to tolerate lactose, actually peaks in Finnish people once again at a frequency of 83%. Do you want to know the frequency in Scandinavians and Germans? 78 and 53% respectively. It is difficult to find any East Asian genetic traits in the Finnish people. It is also difficult to find any East Asian linguistic traits in the Finnish language. Although it is commonly common knowledge that Uralic language and Uralic speakers originated in southern or central Siberia, the origins of Proto-Uralic remain uncertain. Proto-Uralic may have even common roots with Proto-Indo-European languages, and in fact, in my theory, it does, tracing back to whatever was spoken by Upper Paleolithic ancient North Eurasians. And yes, Finnish people's Y-DNA or patrilineal lineage mostly derives from Asia and not from Europe. But so what? The first instance of our lineages are also found in our are also found in Asia among ancient North Eurasians. Since J was not present in Mesolithic Europe, the distinction between J and I must have occurred in the Middle East, and therefore this would imply that the first patrilineal lineage I also came into Europe from Asia, from the Middle East. What's the point exactly? At one point or another, all of European ancestors came into Europe from elsewhere. In this regard, the Finnish people are not any different from the English or Irish. And in fact, if we go back to the Mesolithic, a larger portion, a larger proportion of Finnish ancestors were living in Europe rather than the ancestors of modern English and Irish people. Mesolithic Brits, such as Cheddar Men, are much closer autosomally to Finnish folks, even with their 5% Siberian admixture, than they are to modern Brits. Both Finns and Brits have a significant portion of Anatolian Neolithic farmer admixture, as well as Caucasian hunter-gatherer admixture acquired from Indo-Europeans, but it would be entirely accurate and genuine to point out that the highest portion of indigenous 
indigenous Mesolithic European ancestry can be found in the Baltic region, which is precisely where Finland resides. Additionally, Finnish people today are actually even more European and less Siberian admixed than were Finnish people of the Iron Age. In the Iron Age, Finland was inhabited by Sami-like people who were eventually moved further and further north by the Estonian-like Tarant grave people who ultimately became the cultural and linguistic founders of the Finnish nation. Some of these Tarant grave people have absolutely no Siberian ancestry at all. Not three, not eight, not even one percent. If you could still argue that Sami culture has some resemblance to cultures of the East, it is clear that Finnish culture is entirely European. Just like Scandinavians and the Brits and the Russians, Iron Age Tarand grave people herded animals and practiced agriculture. In fact, it can be argued that Finnish colonization of Finland and pushing the Levanlukta like people or proto Samis further north can be compared to the expansion of Slavs into the north of Russia or the expansion of white settlers in America into the lands of the natives. Not to accuse the Finnish people of colonialism, of course, this is simply the course of human migrations and development. Nobody is at fault here. European culture is very diverse and it would probably be close-minded of me to even discard the Sami culture as being non-European. That said, I think one defining aspect of European culture is Christianity. Although now Europe is becoming secular and multicultural, all of Europe was very Christian and religious. Until recent developments of the 20th century, Finnish people have been very Christian. Although now I reckon most are atheistic or pagan or secular or something of that sort, paganism does seem to be making a comeback in this region of Europe. In fact, to me, a Christian Finn speaking a finno ugric language is much, much more familiar and European than a Muslim Bosnian who speaks a Slavic language whose prayer I could probably even understand although I wouldn't necessarily agree with. Uh, thanks for watching. Do consider leaving a comment and liking the video if you enjoyed it. I would also appreciate it if you uh, watched some of my videos showing the autosomal DNA results and traits of ancient peoples. Goodbye.